D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and today I'm going to show you how to another HVAC hack another HVAC hack I'm going to show you how to hack this chiller this is a medical this is a chiller that's used for medical use and it's called KKT Cross it's made in Germany there you have it here's the model if you're interested and um, has two compressors here's the controls this is an old one this was manufactured in 2000 and uh what does it say there oh, actually no it's 1999 1999 there's so a very old one um there's the controls all right you got your protectors your uh, contactors relays you name it it's there um here is the temperature control or the I guess part of the part of the brain that controls this chiller it had failed it shows EP and it is flashing but it's just because of the rate of the camera it just it is steady flashing EP you know not random like left and right but it's just EP now um so yeah I was able to uh, get a hold of the schematic or the wiring diagram and this green wire right here and that terminal terminal three and this red wire right here and terminal is a nine okay nine so i i jumped or connect nine with five and then that goes for the solenoid liquid line solenoid over here it's so right here so it's off right now because it's satisfied because the kids you can see we're at 16 degrees c and that's on the chill water or fluid return that's right now in celsius and fahrenheit 62 degrees so that's good so at around seven as around 19 or 17 c the temperature controller will turn on and here it is so these are the other two wires um uh, that i added to it brought them down this switch right here in this thing here it's a normally uh, open switch, so it will um, it will open and the temperature fall. So you can see that's my set point right there. There it goes, just turned on. And we're at 17.8 C. Compressor is running. There is the pressure gauges right there. It's in bar because it's not using using the. Uh, Imperial system is using metric because it's, this was made in Germany. The liquid line solenoid is on. You can see the light is active, and yeah, it's been running fine just with this, just, just with this arc right here. This, uh, this, this, this arc. Just put the, you know, I hack it by putting the temperature controller because this thing is is bad, and um, it's been going. Um, yeah, I, uh, a, a second hack right here. This this chiller is old and in bad shape. This circuit. Circuit number two is is currently empty. That's zero bars, zero bars, uh, zero bar. And um, even the contactor right here is disconnected. This is a contactor. This is a wire for it. This one is pretty much beat up. You can tell because like you see all the uh, these are the arcing when it goes in. As you can see right here, is like mad, dusty, and dirty. Certainly, though, that that needs to be replaced. But there's a fan motor. There's a there's a little plant growing from the uh, the the ack which I did on the uh, fan motor because I covered it with plastic because it's the motor is dead. And if I didn't do that, it would be running at high pressures simply because the air will take the least part of resistance because both fans are supposed to run simultaneously. And if uh, if one fan is turning. On the other one isn't the air will take the least part of resistance and it will just spin the blade backwards or in reverse and go the air will go in here and then back out through the fan that's running so they're supposed to be running in pairs this is for circuit number two over here and that's for those two for circuit number one um i'm gonna walk around and show you real quick what it is but um yeah i i did that hack uh i think last summer you know customer still didn't you know go for the approval for the repairs and now we're here again so now they're gonna go for it so yeah you can see that plastic is pretty much torn up 
Oh, and there's a suction. So you can see, look, I, that piece of thin plastic, you know, I put it in here, it goes in here, and comes out over there. I'm gonna do that again. So if I get it, it's in here, it sucks in. I don't see that one. But yeah, pretty much what like I said, if this wasn't here, it would be running at high pressures because the air would go in this way and comes out this way and it would bypass the coil. So it would take the least part of resistance. So yeah, that's just another, you know, ACK, you know, HVAC ACKs that are, you know, that I, that I did. And, you know, it will get you out of a jam, you know, make your customer happy, make you look like the hero, makes, makes you a super hero. You got this old chiller is down. They can't do the MRI scans because this feeds water into the into an helium uh, refrigeration unit. So it it it, it actually it's like cryo cooling. So these chill water pipes goes into the condenser of another refrigeration unit. That refrigeration unit uses um, helium for the refrigerant, and the uh, the, the uh, helium goes into the MRI. Um, unit to cool down the magnet now the uh, refrigeration unit downstairs which uh this these pipes are cooled down the condenser uh, they call it in the you know mri radiology term they call it the cold head compressor cold head compressor that's what they call that so yeah so this cooled down that compressor or that unit and um without this pretty much the business can't go on they can't do any scans you know without this chiller and i mean it's in such a poor you know, poor condition. Let me look at that. And we got burnt overloads. Yeah, I did. Wow. You know, and this right. These are these these are for these are the fan contactors. There's two speeds, two speed fans. You know, uh, both fans are supposed to burn simultaneously, but we got a one that's bad. And the other side, you know, it's not on because the compressor is is flat. There's no refrigerant in there. Okay. Yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and um, give it a thumbs up. Give it a, give it a like. And um, if you haven't subscribed, you know, go ahead and um, subscribe to my channel. You know, I do upload videos on a weekly basis. Um, real world, real HVAC simplified. And this is the only place you'll find that.